Today is November the 28th, 2012, and I'm going to make a uh, video here on using uh, the old Tektronix oscilloscope. This is a model 485. Beautiful old scope. Um, and how to use the um, the intensified and B sweep delayed. Delayed sweep B, delayed sweep uh, intensified and alternate. Really, a, really a, a powerful feature if you need it. I haven't seen a YouTube video on it yet, and that's why I'm going. I'm going to go there. I don't use that kind of a feature anymore. Um, where I used to use it daily was when I worked uh, in Huntsville, Alabama, with NASA back in the 70s and um, our mass storage devices were called fast trans we had some other high speed um, IO devices called uh, flying head 432's and flying head 1782's FH 432 FH 1782 anyway <clears throat> what they were were drums which was the precursor to uh, today's disk drives but what we had to use these functions for, intensified and, and delayed, in, in particular delayed, was to look at an entire track. Uh, because you could have uh, a hole, is what it was called, a hole in the data. You could have a dropout, an anomaly, whatever you want to call it. You'd have a, a problem with a track. And what you had to do, and let's just suppose that what we're doing here, let's suppose this is a... Um, this is the beginning of a track and this is one complete revolution here we're looking at let's suppose we're looking at one sweep of course right now we're just looking at square wave but assuming that this is a uh, one revolution of a uh, mechanical device this would be uh, when the revolution starts and this would be exactly one revolution later but let's suppose we think that there might be a problem somewhere in here because we're losing data well, that's where we come in. That's where V-Sweep Delayed comes in really handy and absolutely necessary because it's so small you can't see it. But once you get uh, the whole sweep in here, in, as I'm using in my example, then you pull out the knob of the uh, sweep and then you start rotating it. Well, okay, first or second, you put it in B. Let's put it in uh, Delayed Sweep B. Okay, let me go back, sorry. Didn't mean to confuse it here. Okay. There it is normal. Now I'm going to intensify, or I'm going to delay it. And I know that this has got to be horrible. Let me turn the intensity down here a little bit. Well, it doesn't want to turn down. Well, I pull out the knob, and then I start rotating it. Okay. See how i got a nice clear display? I'm looking at a single pulse. But that pulse I'm looking at, I'm, I'm still sweeping the whole revolution as I'm describing here. And I change what port, what portion of that revolution I'm looking at with this little time delay position knob up here. And as I turn it all the way back, I'm going to go all the way back to zero. This is where it starts. Now I'm at zero, <clears throat> zero, zero. This is where the sweep would, uh, the, the revolution would start and the sweep starts. But now I'm, I've magnified it out to where I can actually look down into this, this track that I'm looking at. And, and as, as I'm scrolling, if you want to call it that nowadays, through, through that revolution, and I can see it and I can magnify it again I can magnify it out as much as I want and I can scroll through it so I'm going to go back slow I'm going to go back to regular display here see, there's our regular display and you see you, uh, you have no resolution for something that's happening in the middle here since you're having to look at the whole resolution but here turning it down again unlocking the pulling out on the knob and unlocking it see this this portion this is our sweep this is our entire sweep rate right here but this is our expanded sweep rate 
works great let you look down inside things now if you use the uh, intensified gotta turn the intensity back up here that's the piece that we're looking at right there see the bright piece if I turn this all the way down there's the bright piece that we're looking at and as we uh, turn the uh, delay time position we can see it scrolling through so we can we can select that piece that we want to look at and then if we go back to B here there it is right there there's that piece and of course we put it on alternate here we see both of them at the same time isn't that beautiful I just find that amazing see how I'm scrolling through it so anyway that is what I have used it for in the in the decades long ago don't use it anymore because I don't have any rotating devices but uh, that is uh, one uh, very powerful uh, use for the uh, the hor horizontal display uh, intensified delayed sweep uh, delayed sweep B intensified and and the alternate there's the intensified again we move it along there's the uh, delayed that's the one I always used and what we would end up finding out is that there would be a, a bad spot is what it was called somewhere in the track and there would be a dropout and you'd be losing data there so you'd be getting parity errors and as such we would we were able to wire out that track mechanically by using uh, little jumpers to move it to uh, another spot on the drum to another uh, spare head and that's the way it worked and it was great hope this helps somebody uh, learn how to use the uh, the horizontal display uh, uh, delayed sweep B and intensified uh, pieces of, of an oscilloscope.